Well, after seven years of work, the lacrosse center is now officially complete. And with so many new amenities, the team that runs the building holding an open house this evening to show them off. Well, News 19's Marcus Osvold got a tour earlier today. So, Marcus, what stands out to you? Honestly, it's how big the new windows are near the river. Seriously, that view, you can see everything from the blue bridges to the entirety of Riverside Park and even the lacrosse river. Countless board meetings, deadlines, and $42 million later, the lacrosse center is complete. It's one of those things, on time, on budget, which is really good. Center director Art Fay says the new ballroom, meeting rooms, and terrace continue to bring in new bookings. Between the uh, shows that we're going to be seeing and the conventions that we've had, and we've got brand new ones coming, you know, people will start seeing the impact because you'll see the folks around downtown again in, in, in numbers. Marketing to more people wouldn't happen without new views, a fresh HVAC system, and more space. There's a lot of power that's needed and, and a lot of heating and cooling that's got to get in the right areas so we can keep people comfortable. Building and maintenance engineer Josh Krenz says the facility is ready for more people. It's been a big process, but it's super exciting to, uh, to be able to now use what we've all been planning and working on so hard for the last few years. And Faye favors the opportunity to show community taxpayers it's a dollar well spent. We're adding uh, somewhere like $9 million a year in the economic impact, so this will get us up towards that $40 million annual impact that will be in the community. You know, and that's kind of a conservative number sometimes because the ricochet dollar, they talk about how many times it multiplies in the community. That's uh, a realistic number that we can expect from this building to be delivering to La Crosse. Faye says when they started the project, five new hotels showed interest in La Crosse. So he says it'll really boost our economy and that of Western Wisconsin overall. Heather and Dustin, the open house is happening right now until 7 p.m. for the community. There'll be city councilors and mayors who've had a hand in helping this project reach that final stage.